Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and how do I get noticed or get more views or get more subs on YouTube? Well, I am going to tell you in this video because you have about 30 seconds when a video starts if no one has seen your video before to make that video interesting and make people want to watch that video all the way to completion and climax. <laughs> and 30 seconds is really not a lot of time to capture someone's attention because people have very short attention spans and they want action and they want information and they want it right now and already it has been past 30 seconds so if you are not interested in this video you will have already left and I will probably never see you again but I think that I've made the introduction interesting enough that you are going to want to stick around to hear what I have to say so I would say the first part of this video has been pretty energetic and exciting. I got my intro with fire and me popping up on the screen and basically when I'm speaking I'm changing my tone of voice as frequently as possible, trying to speak as clearly as possible and just having emphasis and it's kind of exciting what I'm going to say. And I didn't always make commentaries like this and believe me they were a lot less popular. I would have my commentaries be like this. Uh, hey. How's it going? This is Wicked Shrapnel. I got a uh, really good sniping game on Nuketown. And I did, I did pretty good on this match. And I was on um, playing with some guys in OTC. This is like a, a mixer and it's pretty cool. So as you can see, that was not very exciting to listen to. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that do that and that is something that you have to work on and I've, I've told people that you know you need to sound more energetic just have people's attention even if you're not that excited about the game you need to make it exciting or else why is someone gonna watch it if, if you're if you sound bored while you're making a video then the people who are watching the video are gonna be bored out of their fucking mind <laughs> so you really need to make yourself sound entertaining I would say imagine that every video that you're making you are going up on stage and you're going to be performing for an audience and you are because this is a good YouTube is a worldwide stage and you are selling tickets to your gun show <laughs> and why will people want to come see your show and it better be entertaining and there's a lot of different ways to be entertaining it doesn't necessarily have to be entertaining though it could be informative I know that people like uh, T-Mart make like really informative videos and uh, S&D for dummies they're very good at making like map analysis videos and how to get better at search and destroy and they have been they've grown rapidly as a channel they got noticed by X Jaws who liked their videos and they didn't really have to go out and and you know try to h hustle to get more subscribers they just ha provided good quality content and people noticed that and other uh, you know bigger YouTube channels will say hey man this guy's doing some good stuff take a look at him and that is a major thing so the quality of your content imagine that you're on a stage you're performing for an audience what do you have to say why do people want to gather around and take moments out of their day to come listen to you so you better have some information or you better be funny or you better have some super beastly gameplay that no one's ever seen before and it's really best to have a mixture of all of those things and I think that also as your channel is growing don't be unobtainable to the people that are watching you I think that I've done a really good job of not trying to put myself up on a pedestal and you know speaking down to every one below me my subjects below me stand and kneel before Zod <laughs> I, I've tried to be you know just like a cool dude that is your friend 
and come play some games with me and watch what I can do. <laughs> so I, I try to have open lobbies and play with my subs and not just that. I, I try to, you know, reply to as many comments as possible. When people send me messages, I try to reply to messages. And I realize as the channel grows and gets bigger and bigger, it'll be harder and harder to reply to more of them. And even though I might reply to just as many as I do now, it'll still seem like a drop in the bucket as you get more and more subscribers which give you more and more messages and everything else and I have a Twitter and a Facebook where people can contact me and just trying to give different outlets to people that you know could make you feel like they're a part of your channel I think is another important step especially when you're just growing a channel you you want to have people coming to your channel because they feel like they're a part of your channel rather than just coming to look what this guy has to say and I mean there are people that can make it just you know not replying to anyone and if but they better be really really good at what they do they have to be like super beast at playing the game or super funny and they're really entertaining or have some really good information that you want to get from them but I don't think that I am the best Call of Duty player. I definitely get some good games, and but it's not all the time. If anyone that watches, especially in my live stream, I get I get beasted on frequently <laughs> by other people and some of my subscribers that are much better at playing Call of Duty than I am. But that's really not the primary reason I think people come to my channel. I think that I try to be entertaining and people feel like they're coming to hang out with Wicked Shrapnel for 10 minutes and they'll give me feedback on whatever I say and I try to respond to the feedback so I try to make people a part of my channel rather than just trying to be a spectacle. <laughs> and uh, another way that I, I've done like interaction with the subs is like the zombie hotline. That, has become pretty popular and that's not for everyone it seems to be very popular among uh my younger subscribers which is cool and what else um uploading your videos in to like community channels or collaborating with other channels doing dual comms i haven't done a lot i've done i think under five dual comms not counting the long dual comms with my mom but collaborating with other channels, your size, because you have to be reasonable in your expectations. If I send a message to Hutch or Steen Anders and say, hey man, you want to do a dual com? They're going to say GTFO, Wicked Shrapnel, because I have not got to their caliber of subscribers. <laughs> and they don't even know who I am. It could be like... A lot of people will be, you know, never been to my channel and the first thing that they send me is, Hey man, you want to do a dual com? And I'm like, who are you? And I really only do dual comms with people that I've been playing with. Like, these will be people that I game with on a regular basis and friends and I feel comfortable actually, you know, I would call them up on the phone and I can have a casual conversation. So that's, that's the people that I would like to do dual comms with. And that's who you should do dual comms with. Do dual comms with your friends, if you have friends that have other channels, or you know, if you meet someone and you're playing games online with them, then you could do dual comms with them. And on a regular basis, I mean, be comfortable with the person that you're speaking to. Um, and community channels, like I know Huppet Community has a uh, channel to search for community channels where you can upload gameplay. A lot of commentators have opportunities to get your gameplay on their channel like I have the Wicked Beast series which I upload subscribers gameplay so look for people that do things like that and just try to interact with other channels too subscribe to other channels that you're interested in and try to you know watch their videos comment on their videos and you'll probably get more favorable responses from people who they know that you come and check out their channel and you're cool <laughs> another thing that I get asked about a lot is like the capture card I would say that you need an HD capture card at a minimum 
because there are thousands and thousands of people recording gameplay and posting it on YouTube right now that if you have just a standard definition capture card I mean you are not you're not gonna really stand out and get noticed I would say that that's a bare minimum and if you just wanna you know it, and it really depends what you're doing it for but this is about you know people that are looking to gain subscribers and like have an audience for their videos that aren't just their friends that they're sharing videos with I mean if you just wanna record some games and share it with a couple friends then sure a a dazzle a dazzle will do but if you are looking to get noticed and get subscribers and have any any kind of presence on YouTube I would say that you're gonna need a high-definition capture card and HD PVR is pretty much the standard because it works with Xbox or with PS3 and I use an Avermedia uh, Avermedia Aver TV, and I have links on my channel homepage and links of interest to all the stuff that I use. I would say you also need to get a good mic. I would say the Blue Snowball is probably one of the least expensive, decent quality microphones that you could get. The uh, snow or the Blue is a Blue Snowball. Yeah, Blue Snowball and Blue Yeti is two good mics that are rather inexpensive. Um. Oh, what else? What other bits of knowledge have I got in store? I've, I've learned a lot of stuff. I've been doing this over a year, and if you go back and look at my videos that I made over a year ago, they are not nearly... They don't nearly have the entertainment value that my current videos do because I've been working on it. I, and I've got better at the game, but I don't think that's just it. I, I've, I've become uh, easier to listen to, hopefully. Even though I'm pretty long-winded in this video right now, <laughs> but I've I've diversified and multiplied my ideas. That's another thing. Be original. I would say originality goes a long way in getting noticed, especially now. Like you're not going to be able to just post an average game. Uh, just even if you do good commentary over an average game, just talking about the game you're not really going to get noticed because there's so many other people doing that. I would say that you have to have either a really, really good gameplay or be funny. I think uh, Fuzzy Otterballs does a good job of being a funny dude. I enjoy watching him and, and laughing at him. And I think Fuzzy Otterballs is a good example for like the next part of what I have to say. So Fuzzy has always been funny and I've I've known him back since he had like 200 subs and I had 200 subs and he got he didn't post videos very frequently but when he did post videos they were funny and entertaining and I liked and favorited his videos many times and I don't have a big enough channel to really get anyone off the ground and get you know get a substantial amount of subs coming their way you might get um, like people that have done dual comms with me have maybe got, I would say, under 50 subscribers from my over 12,000. So not too many people will just subscribe to another channel just because you like do a dual com with them. So that's one thing that you need to realize that doing dual comms is important and it is important to collaborate with other channels, but it's really not going to give you the super boost. And one thing that gave uh, Fuzzy Otterballs a super boost and ways that I got a nice boost in the past is from, you know, the big channels, the big boys. It's the names that come to mind when you think of gameplay commentary. Hutch, Cnanners, Woody's Gamer Tag, and I could name a bunch of more Tabe and X Jaws. So those are like the mega channels that if you get noticed by them and they tweet your channel or share it on Facebook or you know give you a shout out or something you can actually get a substantial amount of subscribers from that but that is very rare and Fuzzy Otterballs got into the uh, commentator March Madness and he's in the final four and he has got a lot of subs from that I, I don't even know what he's up to right now like five million 
but he had I think 700 subs when he started commentator March Madness so it's he has got a substantial amount of subscribers from that because he's had multiple videos on Woody's Gamer Tags channel and so that's been a really big exposure so if you could find some way to get one of those mega channels to notice you I mean you better have something good to show them and get them noticed try to tweet at them on Twitter and say hey man I got this amazing blah 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 check it out but it better be amazing because if they open it up and look at it and it is some stupid video that they've seen a hundred times before they're never gonna look at another one of your videos again so don't you know use your golden ticket don't waste your golden ticket because if you do have something amazing and they do look at it and they do share it it could be a great opportunity but you can also burn yourself by not being ready so I would you know try to share it with some other people like I look at a few videos every once in a while I get sent hundreds of videos and I try to look at as many as I can but I really don't have the time to watch that many videos I don't even have enough time to watch the videos of the channels that I'm subscribed to and I'm only subscribed to like a hundred hundred channels and I can't keep up so I can't watch everyone's videos and they are probably getting bombarded by thousands of videos a day so trying to get a video noticed by them is really hard to do but if you can get it done that would be something good and uh, I got a big bump back in the day when Hutch tweeted the video of the gameplay I posted of his on on Nuketown and so that gave me a nice bump and so I just, I guess being original, be original in some way, and I don't know what that is because it hasn't been done yet, but if you could do something that hasn't been done yet and do it well, present it well, then you should be able to get noticed just by sharing that video around. That's another thing is share your videos to other people who have interest that you do. You'll get a lot of people that say, you know, don't send me this shit. I hate you die but then there'll be some people that says oh man that's really cool thanks for sending me this thanks for letting me know about you I love you want to have some babies and that probably won't happen but you get the idea <laughs> so I just talked for 18 minutes and hopefully you enjoyed listening to it and hopefully it gave you some ideas and some tips and I hope it was entertaining and I hope you liked watching me snipe and then get second place with RPGs and flamethrowers only. And this is all the guys from OTC. They're all cool. They're all over 30, and I love them. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later, guys. Take it easy. P.S. When all else fails, cats. He's having a crazy dream. Dream about running around chasing a mouse.